especially when one is young, when one is in their mid twenties, uh, trying to figure out life, especially when one wants to form a family in the future, when maybe one wants to have kids, just all those responsibilities that come along with it. It feels almost as if we have several pathways that we could take in life, but then we just have to choose one. Whenever we are provided with so many opportunities, how is it that we're able to, to choose one? You know, you're at, your, you're at this point in your life where you have to figure out what you want to do when you want to do so many things at once. And what do I mean, what do I mean by that? So from my life, you know, I want to be creative. And that, that's in various domains, um, not just painting, but filmmaking, making short films, continue to write scripts, spec scripts, and scripts I want to film, you know, you know, music, of course, but I haven't had time for music in a year, you know, so that's been kind of put off to the side. But so there's the creative aspect, right, in my life that I do in my free time. And not only just in my free time, but when I have energy, <laughs> which is another challenge of it all. The second thing is my job, you know, and I have two jobs right now. So I have a writing job and then I have my licensed professional counselor associate job, um, both of which I'm very thankful for. In other words, I consider myself lucky to have those jobs because a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do it or you have to work really hard to kind of get to it or so many years of college and that sort of thing. Uh, The third thing is research, you know, and I've progressed you know, I progressed on research in the past two years. It's gone really well. Um, it's gotten me some really good opportunities. You know, really, it, it's starting to pay off. You know, um, and research. You know, it takes it takes a long time, and it takes a lot of dedication. It takes hours. You know, sometimes, and then sometimes it only takes an hour. You know, um, but this research has gotten me far in terms of publishing a manuscript, which is under review right now by a scientific journal, and then also a conference, a poster convention conference thing coming up in March. That I'm going to have the opportunity to present at, present the same research that's being under review right now for the journal. When you're in grad school, most people know you don't have a life, like you just have time for nothing else. And so finally, I've gotten to a point where I do have some free time. Um, but, you know, as this research is wrapping up in particular, but if I get back into research, my fear is that's going to go back to the way it was in grad school, where I don't have any free time, or at the very least, I don't have the energy to even be creative or do anything else, but just, you know, watch movies and go to work, which is not really what I want for myself. So my concern is if I'm already doing blogs on the weekends, right, and low energy because of all the work from that, and then also from working during the week, and if I add research on top of that, and if my work increases to 30 to 40 hours a week, you know, and I add research on top of that, then that means my afternoons where I would normally have free time and even have low energy would be filled in with research because research does take a lot of time and it can be very tedious work depending on what phase you are. So just based on my own experiences, my fear is that if I, it's frustrating because research could take me far and and I know I can maybe contribute, you know, in that field. So part of me feels like if I don't, you know, am I taking away from my abilities of being able to give to the world? But if I do that, then I won't have any free time at the very least, won't have any energy to be creative anymore. And for me, when I'm not creative, you know, it can lead to depression. Like, honestly, it just makes me feel like I don't know what the point is of life anymore. When I don't get to do anything creative, it just kind of sucks. And, you know, I've been in that position, too, where, you know, I didn't go to grad school after graduation. So for me, I got to experience the work life. I was just kind of happy that I didn't have to, like, take tests anymore and that sort of thing. But then I started realizing that as I worked more, it consumed the time that I used to allocate for writing songs, for creating new balloon figures or just different stuff like that. So I I felt almost creatively stuck in a rut. And for a creative person, and I know we've heard uh, talks about this, uh, specifically the one that mentioned it was Jordan Peterson, that he said when a creative person is not creating, they just might as well like die because it's just like rotting away their creative juices and and not everyone's creative from from what we've seen but for those who are they need to allocate that time and so I guess like to make it more um, digestible and more applicable for for all types of people 
it's really finding those things that make you feel energized, you know, making more money, let's say $20,000 more with like a research job, you know, you're doing research, but it's consuming more of your time. You're making $20,000 more, but every day you get back home and you just don't have energy to do anything. You are a creative person, let's say in this example, then it will eat you alive almost. Well, let's say you, you decide to take $20,000 less, but you're still able to make means at meat. You're still able to take a vacation. You're still able to do, um, buy, you know, little, uh, um, like collect collectibles or do, uh, go to the movies, whatever leisure, uh, one likes, then, you know, it might not be like filled with, with leisure activities, but at least you have the essential, which is creating and feeling energized. And I think that's something that we sometimes we take for granted. We just think like, oh, like, yeah, like I'll have energy to do everything in my week. But we realize like, shoot, like we do get sick. We do get tired. We do have those moments. And so I have to find those things that energize me. There needs to be a balance. Yes, we do need to to meet, uh, make means end or meet, meet meet the needs of our, our lifestyle. And we also need to have some leisure time and activities that like push us forward. Do I need a fancy car? Do I need the best type of camera or computer or the best internet, the best shoes, the best clothing? Like we, once we really break it down and say like, who are we trying to impress? Like, are, are we trying to show our parents that we're like making it big? Uh, are we trying to show, you know, our friends that, that we are really cool because we have more money or because we actually were able to buy this house in this location? Like, what, what is that? What does life really mean? Because a lot of people tell me like, Hey, you know, you're doing this artistic endeavor. And so for somebody else, maybe they do need more. And, and that might be something to take into consideration. But since I don't need much, like I can live with that lifestyle right it's it's good for me plus you know i'm doing something artistic which is a plus that makes me